Hello everyone, picture this. You're walking in the mall on your way to buy a new laptop for school when you see someone fall down, drop all of their stuff, and severely hurt their knee. You look around, waiting for someone to respond, but nobody moves. Instead, you see everyone else doing the same thing you are. It's as if nobody understands what to do and chooses to ignore the situation rather than act. This is called the bystander effect, which is when an individual is not as likely to help someone in need when there are other people around. So let's break down the situation I just described to understand why it happened. First, you're walking in the mall with a goal in mind, to buy a new laptop for school. You are focused on this goal and are not prepared for anything unexpected to happen. So when something unexpected does happen, your brain reacts in a certain way that makes you somewhat paralyzed to act. It's trying to interpret the situation and figure out what you can do to help or even if you have the capability to help at all. Bib Latine and John Darley have a very good paper on how people react to emergencies and the bystander effect. I'll put the link to that in the description. Okay, so your brain is going through a lot of stuff right now and you're currently doing nothing. So you you look around for some reference to see what other people are doing. You see that there are a lot of people around you and think to yourself that somebody must be capable of helping this person. Someone else will surely help. This type of behavior falls under the diffusion of responsibility theory, where an individual is less likely to act when other people are around. If you were to look at it mathematically, it might look like this for 4 people, this for 8 people, and so on. In this example, let's say you have exactly 1 16th of the responsibility, so you really don't have much of an incentive to act because you aren't exactly that responsible for the situation at hand. But, of course, everyone feels this way, so nobody responds. A famous real-life example of this phenomenon is the sad story of Kitty Genovese. On a March night in 1964, Kitty Genovese was walking home from work when a man attacked her. She screamed for help and 38 people in the surrounding area went to their windows to witness what was going on. This is where things get really messed up. The man continued to attack her for another half hour until she eventually died. Nobody came to her rescue, nobody called the police, people were aware of the event that was taking place and nobody did anything. They were all under the spell of the bystander effect. As we can see here, the bystander effect has a tendency to make people inadvertently become less helpful, maybe even more horrible, versions of themselves. So, is that it? We're just horrible human beings who can't help each other when we're in large crowds? Well, it doesn't have to be that way. Professor Ken Brown in a TED talk argued using a meta-analysis of the bystander effect from Fisher et al. 2011 that when one person from a crowd actively helps a person in need, everyone else in that crowd is more likely to help that person as well. The individual who initially acts becomes a sort of catalyst for helpful behavior. Ken Brown argues that this is a powerful force and can give an explanation for how different movements, projects, and missions in human history began. It just takes one person to start something bigger than themselves. So now that you're armed with this knowledge about the bystander effect, try to be more aware of your surroundings. If you see someone in need of help, go help them. It can be as simple as calling 911, and research shows that when you come to their aid, others will as well. This is how you can make a difference. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.